All right, so we're out here on this long uh, paved road with a supercharged Hemi Ram. I don't know uh, what we're gonna do. Christian, you have any ideas? Uh, All right, here we go. guys we're in the brand new TRX and we're gonna take it for a little drive down the Forest Service Road. Oh that feels good. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. It's in Baja mode and you're all good to go. It's too much power. <laughs> <laughs> driven a full-size truck before. Oh, really? <laughs> it's like the first time. <laughs> now you're driving the widest one? The widest and... Most powerful yeah. one. Yeah. It's really smooth on the road though, eh? Yeah, I was really impressed with that. And like the tires are completely aired up right now too. Yeah, down, it's so. so much different from uh, from mine, right? Yeah. All right, so I got uh, Jerry Balfour from Mopar Insiders uh, with us today. Uh, he was nice enough to let us take the TRX out. Yeah, I'm glad we came up and did this. This is a good day. Good test run, eh? Yeah, yeah, 100%. It drives so nice on the dirt road. It's really impressive. Um, it's that suspension, the the, the yeah. Those desert Bilstein style suspension. Apti yeah, the Bilstein active, active damping shocks and all that. It just, it's so smooth and we haven't aired down or anything. And the truck just handles it all so well, right? So to give you guys a comparison, uh, compared to driving the Gladiator, aired down this is smoother completely aired up <laughs> oh really <laughs> which is crazy <laughs> it's so much fun when you step on the gas and you hear that supercharger it handles really well too it feels really stable like it doesn't feel like you're gonna lose control yeah even not, though it's got so much power yeah it's well sorted out it's not super floaty either the steering feels tight it is i noticed that right away it's a really heavy steering in this thing <laughs> like how that how can that not put a smile on your face? <laughs> when you were uh, stepping on the gas in front of me when we were driving down the highway, yeah, uh, you could feel it from behind from in my truck behind you. I could feel the vibration in my body, <laughs> and you could smell the gas the yeah. exhaust. Right? Yeah, it was so good. It's um, this thing is probably the best sounding factory exhaust I've ever heard. That yeah, I'd have to hawk, agree. Yeah, I've got a track hawk, even with the aftermarket exhaust, it doesn't sound as good as this. This thing, they did it right. Absolutely. Well, for what you pay for it, it, it should be cool, right? Yeah, no, 100%. <laughs> These things are not cheap. And you better uh, own an oil company if you want to drive one every Right? <laughs> So, the gas mileage is about half of the Gladiator, <laughs> so. Yeah, I uh, I was thinking about getting one of these things. I filled it up yesterday, put 300 kilometers on it, filled it up, cost me 172 bucks. So <laughs> you, you you pay to drive the thing. Yeah, well that's what it's for though, right? Sm smiles for a gallon, as, yeah. as one would say. That's right. <laughs> I mean, if you're thinking about gas mileage, you're looking at the wrong truck. Yeah, right it's on. definitely a toy. Oh, yeah. A big Tonka toy yeah. that looks like a toy too. Yeah, it just feels so good to drive. The suspension, it's insane. Yeah, it's it's. Crazy. I'm not sure I should have driven it because this could be like a hundred thousand dollar mistake. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I've been saying the same thing. The steering wheel is like uh, like suede or something too. It feels so nice. Yeah, it's it feels like a supercar steering wheel. It does. Yeah, flat bottom. It's got the carbon fiber on it. Suede leather. You got the suede on your armrest. On yeah. The dash. It's it's really lu feels luxury, right? It does. As, as it should. Yeah. All right, guys. We just finished test driving the TRX. This thing is crazy. As Christian said, I've never wanted anything more that I've needed less. 
pretty awesome truck. So much fun to drive. Let me know what you guys think about the TRX in the comments. Do you want one? Should I want one? I don't know. I think everyone and their mother should have one. Everyone and their mother? Should have one of these. <laughs> the world would be a better place. Definitely louder. Yeah, this is, a, this is quite a truck. This is quite a truck. The sound, it's an experience owning this truck. That's what I'd say. But uh, yeah, nobody needs this, but it's, it's like if you had your own jumpy ball pit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You don't need it. I don't need it. I'd love a but jumpy man, ball pit. Man, would that house. be fun? It'd be super awesome. From a water slide, you know, water slide. from your bathroom yeah. to the pool or something. Yep, yeah. you got it. Imagine the dish driving in this. <laughs> <laughs> you would be paying to deliver. Oh, food. you wouldn't even. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't think the, You wouldn't recoup the fuel cost yeah, of so delivering the food. Yeah. You'd have to have like a super surcharge for. Yeah. I want to know what the insurance cost on one of these is. Yeah. What Uber level do I have to click to have this show up to get me? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be like a $200 ride to the supermarket. Yeah. yeah it's, but it's going to be worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Smile for gallon, baby. Oh, yeah.